High School Principal for the 1969-70 school year is declared open. Applications from eligible candidates will be accepted after February 1, 1969, thoroughly studied before making a selection for the position. Number two, no summer guidance contract for 1968. Number three, Superintendent, take measures to resolve personal and professional conflicts at the high school and report in writing to the school board. The above actions were unanimous. <clears throat> On last Friday, at, uh, in the afternoon, I held a meeting in my office and the report of that. A meeting was held in the superintendent's office at 2 p.m., April 22nd, 1968. Mr. Heath, Mr. Pugsley, Mr. Shoemaker, and Mr. Glencher were present. The following statements or guidelines were presented. All information used in the executive meeting Monday, April 22nd, 1968 was collected at the request of the school board. Number two. Any materials or information distributed to students, faculty members, faculty members, or parents must be approved by the principal's office. The non-instructional departments will operate directly through the principal's office. The principal will have the responsibility of making teaching assignments and schedules. Mr. Pugsley and Mr. Emick have been delegated to design the master schedule for 1968 and 69. Personal problems of teachers are not to be discussed with or in the presence of students. Number seven, personal problems are not to be discussed with other faculty members during school hours. 